The fierce national debate about whether to attack Iran's nuclear facilities was reignited this weekend after another top Israeli security official voiced his opposition to a military strike. This time it was Yuval Diskin, who just ended a six-year stint as the head of Israel's domestic security agency, or what's known as the Shin Bet. At a political discussion group this weekend, with the cameras rolling, Diskin slammed Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Defense Minister Ahud Barak on their leadership on Iran, saying he doesn't think either man could lead Israel successfully in and out of a large-scale conflict. He said that he objects to the current operational discussions going on now about an attack, and he said that he doesn't trust Netanyahu or Barak's decision-making on Iran, saying they're based on what he calls messianic motives. Diskin went on to accuse Netanyahu and Barak of misleading the Israeli public with false promises that a military strike can prevent Iran from developing a nuclear weapon. It's much more likely, Diskin argued, that an Israeli strike would galvanize Muslim support for Iran, lend its nuclear weapons program more legitimacy, and perhaps even accelerate the program. And many other experts agree, he added. Diskin's remarks have rattled the political establishment. They are the most public, the most blunt, and the most severe criticisms made yet by a former top security official. Aides close to the prime minister and the defense minister, as well as some Likud lawmakers, have rushed to criticize and discredit Diskin. Airing his views has been called, quote, irresponsible, inappropriate, and putting Israel's security at risk. Sources close to Netanyahu say political revenge has motivated Diskin, who, the theory goes, is angry that he was passed over for the top job at Israel's spy agency, the Mossad. The accusation of a personal or political vendetta has been used before on those who oppose the government's military option. When the former head of the Mossad, Mayor Dagan, came out publicly against an Israeli strike, he was accused of doing so to create his path into politics. The question this time is whether the Israeli public will buy a version of that argument again. Some analysts say no. It, I think it becomes increasingly hard um, to believe that all these ex-security chiefs have some kind of personal vendetta. Uh, we're now in a situation where the former head of the Mossad and the former head of the Shin Bet, the two key intelligence agencies, are stridently suggesting to the Israeli public that the leadership has, is getting this wrong on Iran. Uh, and we are told that um, some of the current security chiefs and the few people who haven't yet spoken out feel pretty much the same. In addition to Dagan and Diskin, the former IDF chief of staff Gabi Ashkenazi is said to have serious reservations about the wisdom of an Israeli strike, and his replacement Benny Gantz reportedly also has his doubts. The Israeli press has generally come to Diskin's defense, calling him the one who has dared, as the phrase goes, to say the emperor has no clothes. His warning should be taken all the more seriously, some argue, because after the ridicule Dagan underwent, Diskin was still willing to speak out. Diskin is not known in international circles, but he was one of a handful of the most important security officials in the country for six years as the head of the Shin Bet. If you've risen to the top of the hierarchy and you've been privy to very, very classified details, as Diskin and, like I said, the former Mossad chief, Mayor Dagan, both have done, and you then say that on the basis of all the things you've seen and the people that you've worked with and the prime ministers and defense ministers you've briefed and sat with, that you think that they've got it wrong. You know, it doesn't matter how, how, how well known you are, but, you know, they are pretty credible people with a great deal of information that most Israelis don't have. And that's why everyday Israelis may take Diskin's words seriously. It may feed the public's growing opposition to the idea of a military strike on Iran, which has already been expressed in the popular social media We Love Iran campaign. Some believe Yuval Diskin's remarks may have a real impact on Netanyahu's Iran policy. According to the latest polls, only about a third of Israelis support a unilateral strike, and many say Netanyahu will have to convince many more Israelis to support his cause before he sends those fighter jets off on their long and dangerous journey. Diskin's now public opposition may make that a lot more difficult. Jordana Miller, JN1, Jerusalem.